Ready or not, it's almost back to school season, and one local group is making strides to help low-income families start brand new this school year. Thanks for watching 12 News. I'm Ryan Henson. I'm filling in tonight for Brandy Smith, who has the night off. 16 people confirmed dead after a hot air balloon crashes in central Texas early this morning. The tragedy happened shortly after 740 this morning in Lockhart, Texas, located east of San Marcos and south of Austin. Back here at home, what can top snow cones and popcorn on a hot day? Adding pets to that mix, the Beaumont Animal Shelter hosted the second annual Beat the Heat adoption event. Dozens of cats and dogs were at the outdoor event where adoption fees were waived for those looking to take home a pet. Now on 12 News at 10, a horrific scene unfolding in Central Texas. More coverage on that fatal hot air balloon that caught fire in midair and plunged to the ground. Plus, new information tonight on a stabbing that happened at a Beaumont South End apartment complex. What police say happened before things took a turn for the worse. Beaumont PD also investigating a fatal shooting near the intersection of Major Drive and Highway 105 around 11 this morning. Investigators say a 21-year-old met Beaumont man with a passenger in a car heading north on Major when he shot himself in the head while playing with the gun. An investigation is still ongoing. And to weather, and we had a beautiful morning today. In fact, I spent it driving to Kuntz. To, to have breakfast at Mama Jack's. And let me tell you, it was really good. Luckily, I made it back to Momot before some afternoon showers moved in. Can we expect more rain the rest of the weekend? A woman is in stable condition after falling off a boat and getting hit by the boat's propeller. The accident happened around 7 last night on the Natchez River just south of Highway 69. According to local Texas game wardens, the woman and her boyfriend were checking a trout line when the boat hit something in the water, knocking them both overboard. When they fell in the water, the boat's propeller hit the woman on the head. Her boyfriend was able to get her out of the water. She was taken to Christus Southeast Texas St. Elizabeth in Beaumont. Gabe Warrens are encouraging boat owners to invest in kill switches to prevent accidents from happening and reminding everyone to have life jackets on board. An update tonight, one man is recovering and another faces charges after a stabbing in the 3300 block of Elmira in Beaumont South End. Police say after an argument, a 55-year-old man stabbed a 50-year-old at the Starcrest Apartments around 4.30 this afternoon. The victim was stabbed in the torso and neck but has non-life-threatening injuries. The 55-year-old is charged with aggravated assault with the weapon. And now going back to the NFL, of course, I don't know if you're aware of this. Ryan was a Rams oh, fan. So uh, we, we want to know, since you've lost your team, who are you pulling for? How about them Cowboys? Wow. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I went to school in Indianapolis, so I got to root for the Colts. Nothing against the Cowboys. Just, yeah, I just can't root for the Texans. So I'm going to be sure to show Rams highlights for you all the time.